What is going on everyone? This is Saint Denalia, and I'm bringing you my second episode of Pokemon Brand Nuzlocke. Now, if you, saw the last, if you saw the last episode, you will know that it didn't go very well. Both of us saw... Well, I mean, to be fair, I failed him, but I feel like he failed me a little bit. Uh, we got an encounter with the rarest Pokemon that there is in Mercen Cave, which is a Vulpix. Which... What can you do about that? And rather than healing up and uh, going to face the next trainer, what I thought is I'd just go in like an idiot, get bodied by a Spearow, and then uh, just give up. It was a bad job after 40 minutes, 40 minutes of playing, to lose it in the last, very last part of the episode. <laughs> so, start again. I'm going to go in with Pikachu. Now, Pikachu, what the fuck am I saying? We're going to go in with Squirtle this time. Um, because I feel like Squirtle's got a better chance of surviving against the Pokemon that I've been coming up against. Um, Bulsa's weak to flying types, and there's a Spear. The train's got a level 7 Spear in there that's an absolute monster. And if I get Zubat as my first encounter again in that cave, which I am going to, I guarantee it. Then I'm, I'm toast. It's done. Game over. GG. Uh, that's if I have the saw. However, I feel like Squirtle's going to uh, be my saviour. In fact, that is what I'm going to call him. Saviour. The Redeemer. Jesus. No, just saviour. Adventure starts here. Come see me sometime tomorrow after you wait. Thank you very much, Professor Tree. No, that's the guy from Pokemon Rusty. Mm. Oh, shout out, by the way. Who, who makes that Pokemon Rusty? Damn, I can't remember the guy's name, but I'm going to post a link in the description. That is some funny shit. Get it checked out for Pokemon fan. Alright, so let's go down to. The professor, by the way, I'm going to use the speed up to get between some long walks and also repetitive walks, like to and from the Pokemon Center, all that sort of thing. And also speed up slow bits like that. Uh, when it comes to the actual story of this game, because I've not played it before, I'm sort of interested in. Um, no, sorry, I have played it before. A long time ago. I'm sort of interested in knowing what the story is because I've forgotten it. So we're going to. Uh, most of the dialogue I'm going to keep reading. Uh, so I'm keep up with what's going on. Um, however, this is all the normal style up bit. Granddad's Legacy, Receive List, Take a Pokemon, Get a Pokedex, all that kind of crap. So, this squirrel. Yes, please. There we go. Now, if you saw the first episode, you will know that I took Bulbasaur and then I lost the battle to um, the rival. I forget what his name is. It's called a blue until I remember. No, no, no. And so I didn't get that um, level up at the start. She also puts her on the back foot. I'd quite like to beat him her, so that I can start off at level 6 and not have to uh, get a fight with him, not have to lose, get some experience, and uh, get a bit of extra money as well. So. Cool. First battle of the lot, and I feel like this is going to be a good indicator of how things could go. There's Bulbasaur, piece of crap I had from last time. Nah, I love Bulbasaur, but man, I cannot deal with uh, cannot deal with that spear rail. So we should attack on we should attack as well. I do feel like the AI on this is cleverer. When I was playing the last one, um, I had Zuba out and, uh, against the Vulpix, and the Vulpix kept using uh, Tailwag to lower the defense. But then as soon as I switched in Bulbasaur, and it knew it was weak, it went straight for the Ember. Uh, it didn't kill it, I managed to body it with Bulbasaur anyway, but... 
still. It seemed like the AI knew what I was doing. There we go, brilliant. So there's my level 6, that's what I like to see. He's going to make some excuse. Oh, he seems quite alright, doesn't he? Like, he's not, he's not giving it the blue lines, snowy later, all that crap. So, seems like a nice guy. So, check out Pokemon. He's going to say, Oh, I've got something for you to take. Take it back to the Professor Tree, Tim. Professor Tree. That's it, he's called Professor Tree now. I'm not calling him Tim anymore. And uh, Professor Tree's a stoner, so that makes sense why he's you know, got a pizza in the middle of the day. Come and see this man who is absolutely off his tits. To be fair, if you look at his fear as well, he looks like he's off his tits. Look at that guy. He's off his tits. What are you doing back so early? I bought you a pizza. You're really munchy. Interesting bastard. Too busy to pick it up, yeah. That's what he was doing. That's what we all say, lad. What do you need me for? Oh, yeah. So we make Pokedex because, you know, why not give 10 year old children high tech encyclopedias? Thank you very much, Tim. Tree. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I don't care about your dream. Sorry. I don't care about your grandpa's dream. Uh, yes, I will. Thank you. Thank you. I will. Bye. See ya. Thanks, so. And he gets away so quickly. How's he gone already? I feel like he's got a speed up button and he's using it a bit more shamelessly than I am. Let's talk to this guy again. Yeah, dude. Give me some Pokeballs, man. Sick potions. Come on. Five of them. Yeah. Make sense. And also, just because there are a couple of Weedles in there. In that cave. So there are a couple of antidotes. And there's a Pikachu in there. There's, and there's Thunder Wave. So there are a couple of Paralyzed Heels. And that should see me pretty well, I think. Let's see what happens And we're in. Right, now, oh, shall I get my encounter in? Alright, let's get my encounter in here. Yes, I'll do the second part of the cave like we did last time. I mean, I'm guessing it's got the same Pokemon uh, programmed in, but we never know. And then there's Geodudes in here. Oh god, it's a Zubat again! Look at Geodude! There's Geodudes, Diglets, Vulpixes in this cave, man. God damn Zuba. I need to do some research, man. In between the next two episodes, find out when Zuba levels up. When he levels up? That's not even what I mean. What moves he learns as he levels up? Because, uh, you know, if he doesn't learn anything useful very quickly, I don't really know if there's much problem having it. I have a bit of a habit with um, Nuzlocks of just training up two or three Pokemon and then just leaving it there, getting them up to a very high level, smashing everyone, bodying them for the compass, and that's the end of it. If I remember rightly, the Elite Four at the end of this game is really high level, I think 70s. So, I'm just give a nickname to Zubat. Yes, because I have no choice, because we're in Nuzlocke, and that's the rules. And what you would call him. Wait, what did I call Squirrel? Did I call Squirrel or anything? Saviour. This guy can be a redeemer. Is that gonna fit? Yeah, redeemer. Because that doesn't sound creepy at all. Re D. <laughs> How do you spell that? <laughs> redeemer, that's a lot of E's. Ah, something's wrong there, but that's what he's getting. Cool. Right, so on to the next section. Fat. This is going to be boring, but let's go backwards because I'll get back to um, hometown and get myself a up. Now we should change the speed of the speed up button, you know, because then I would have to keep running towards all the time, slow down a little bit, take a quick rest, 
Thank you very much, Mammy. Uh, to be fair, with the speed up, it only takes a few seconds to get back from there, so it's not too bad. Right, so, what do we do now? I think, switch stream Zuba. This guy's got potion. Oh, thank you! He's a good lad, isn't he? Oh, I'm all out of free samples. You have one free sample? Like, that's not good. I'm not good salesmanship, man. I'm not shopping at your mall ever again. Unless I need something, I'm gonna be weird. <laughs> that was just such a point of speed up. Right, okay. Oh. Now Diglett shows up. Sick, nice one, thank you, pal. Okay, I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter. Let's just get it dead and stop thinking about it. Once I get a water tank move on this squirrel, I am going to be pretty good because I'm going to be able to body move things that I come by. Oh, there we go! Nice one. Oh, I've got a stab, which is absolutely perfect. I'm going to go for bubble. Didn't really do anything. Uh, I still think it's better than tackle. Or is it? Or do I just stick, stick with tackle until I get some more level? from experience. I think I can hear something. There's some sort of clicking away from or something. Just let me know if anything comes up behind me. Yeah? Oh, as if these have both just missed it. Each <laughs> life's <laughs> useless. Get out of the wife, you know. Too bad for him, that life. Um, God, I hate that. I hate that. No one levels up again. I feel like at this stage, like I want to level up every battle. Every person that I beat, I want to be level up. So. I've missed it again. What is it with least life? Is the accuracy not good? Mm. Never mind. What I'm worried about as well is that the guy that wiped me out with the Spearow that's got Peg before has got a Ratito with Quick Attack. And that is going to destroy me as well. Whoa, ah, ah. It was risky. It was for tackle. Go for a tail whip. Oh, maybe uh, it's not as yeah, uh, it's not as smart as I thought it was. Brilliant, nice one. Perfect. I did. Some... Wow, I remember I had the zoo battle level. Okay, cool. The battle. I feel like every battle here, I'm gonna have to just keep going back and gear up until I actually get up to a decent level, which makes me just want to grind for a little bit. If I do decide I'm gonna do a little grinding montage, then I will. Cut away while I do it. Uh, I'll be back in the when I finish. So you're not just going to sit there and watch me grind for 10 minutes. That does not sound like it makes for interesting viewing at all. Oh, one looking at me like, why have you just made a little wall dance up? Well, Mum, you call me Saint and then expect me to act like one, and we're going to rebel. Ok, 
Okay, back in the game. Another encounter. So Zubat. Zubat still as annoying as it was half an hour ago. Still as annoying as it was in 1998 or whenever this original one came out. Still annoying now. Slack Zubat was just made to be annoying. Not only did they make it pop up in every cave, all the way through the game, not only did they make it pop up more often than anything else, he uses Lee's life, which keeps putting his health back up a little bit at a time. It's a slow move with a slow animation. <sighs> Space battles last so long. I can't wait to get out of this cave, man. Now, I can remember from the last playthrough, there is a repel somewhere in this cave, so. Hopefully, I will be able to get hold of that. Escape rope could be useful, particularly if this uh, battle doesn't go very well. Right, so let's. Uh, now, I'm gonna have to grind a little bit. I'm feeling like I need to do about level 6 before I take on this, uh, this little hoe down here. Here's the leech life. I'm gonna go to leech life as well as once. I'm back up to full elf and then I'll switch out to uh, all the sun. <laughs> Duh, there's no XP share generation, is there? Where well, is there? Or is it an XP all of this? Is that what it is? Yeah. I don't know if it's in this game though, to be fair, so. Could be the all star trading coming up. Beautiful. The problem is as well, it's impossible to grind this Zubat up, because the only way I can get it leveled up is by switch training until it reaches whatever level it reaches to get um, whatever move it gets. I'm guessing, I mean, what, maybe buy Supersonic to confuse it, that'd do. Yeah, I'm guessing it, it learns uh, Supersonic first. I guess the leech life, which, yeah, see, this is what I mean. That leech life is going to be enough, probably, to stop me taking it out in two shots. Just making a battle that much longer. Yeah, there it is. And then, and let's have a look. Right, so let's just have a look at the stats here. Attack's pretty good. Specials. Attack and special about the same. Defense 18. So, I've got a good defense to start off with. And then, let's have a look at you. Pretty straight right across here. Yeah, poison flying type, which is good to know. And it's good to 35, 81 more to get to level 6. I think I'm going to go for level 6, and if it hasn't learned a move by then, I'm going to stop grinding it in this cave. I'm going to wait till I get out and just get. Yeah, and just get squirtle up as high as I possibly can, and then no matter what happens, I've got him to switch out to. The only things I'm going to run into problems with obviously with Squirtle is Brass and Electric types. And I know there's an Electric type coming up, but Zubat did switch to Electric types as well, so that's not exactly... But grinding him's not going to make any difference. And uh, he's also not very effective against Grass, so really there's absolutely no point to train him up. I may as well just have one, one. train up at the minute and then take it as we go from there. I'm at the risk of only having uh, only grinding one Pokemon for a bit anyway. It's good. Okay, so there goes that Zubat. Oh man, right, let's, uh, let's heal this guy with potion. Um, let's go into this lady here and see what she's got to say. She wants to let's go okay, right straight with the Pikachu. Hard to see. Right, okay. Here we go. Ah, this Pikachu knows the thunder shot from the off. Oh, this is not nice. And again, it outspeeds by miles well. Damn, man, a critical hit and I am absolutely toast. I can't do it though. Yeah, I can't. So, goes to the growl, please lower my attack on the defense. Oh my god for that. 
Man, if that lowers my defence, I'd have been absolutely fair on nothing. Now, thunder shot, it's a crit. Ooh. So at least I know I can survive a critical hit. Oh, I get the crit as well. That is perfect. Oh, I mean, I don't know, I'm trying to not risk it. Let's do that, finish him off. Let's do that. Fine time as well. Like to die. I'm not going to do that. And I can survive another critical hit. So I'm going to stand strong. Go to the growl. What idiot. Go for the tackle. Finish. That could have been a lot harder. If the AI was a little bit more clever. So I'm going to theory. Yes. Uh, let's see what my card is. So a bit of experience points. Get you up to this level 6, hopefully. Hopefully, that's when you learn a move. And if it's not, then uh, I give up and we'll be doing a squirrel solo run for a little bit. So let's go for bubble, see how that looks. No, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. No. Tackle's good, so it's about half health. The growl's going to bring my attack even further. I'm going to go for tackle again without healing. If I win this battle and I don't need to heal, I'm going to go back and heal up at Mimam's house. And, ah, oh man. And, there it is. Perfect. Oh, and he levels up but he doesn't get a move. That is so annoying. Um. Right, let's uh, go back to mum. Just sort me out. Here we are. Mummy. Mama. Help me, Mama. Well, I know I ran away from home to make uh, animals fight each other, but can I please come home and have something to eat and sleep? Thank you. It's a good job, Bobby, actually. Right. Fantastic. Getting back to where we need to be, that's what I like to see. So, I'm zoom through here now. Perfect. And. So, we'll zoom back. Let's go for Squirt again. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. Uh, I'm gonna stop with Zoom back soon. <coughs> What I'm going to start doing if I need to is uh, grinding between episodes, obviously there's not really much point grinding too much during episodes, maybe a little bit, but I think the best thing to do is do it off, of, uh, off the camera and then start back up again when we get to where we need to be at and then keep going through the game. I feel like that's probably the best thing to do because I wouldn't want to just sit here and watch me grinding on this game for probably about half an hour. So. I wouldn't expect anyone else to either. Joe dude, the guy I wish I'd got to my encounter. Ah. This is going to be my luck all through this game, I can just feel it. Now, bug, what's that like against rock? Rubbish. Oh, that's not too bad actually. However... Oh, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for you. There we go. Get a couple of crits. Hey, yeah, look at that. Sick. No, nah, because he's going to just keep going for tackle and absolutely destroy me. Maybe. Well, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. Oh, see, that's what we don't need. Critical hits. I feel like Leech Life hasn't got that much PP to say it's such a weak move. Uh, I feel like it should be like a 35, but it's actually not. It's only a 15. <sighs> see, I, I think that's a bit underpowered. Right, I'm going to use 15 just beating this one Pokemon. Oh, this is risk, nah. No criticals, please. This is it, right? This is not going to get after this. Oh, am I? Oh! 
Oh, it's on a nice edge if he gets a critical and gone. And I'm really doing a Pikachu. Pikachu, I said it again. I'm really doing a squirrel. A squirrel, so. Um, oh. Doesn't miss, it hits. I don't go from that. Oh, see, it lasts fun with a little bit of risk. Just a little bit though, don't go jumping off of any buildings or anything. So, let's heal you up, because otherwise we're going to make a stupid mistake somewhere. I guarantee it. How much XP to be you level up again, my friend? Looking at... 54. Okay, a bit more switch training. We'll level, we'll level him up one more time, give him the benefit of the doubt. Battle this guy, see what he's got to say. Oh, catch him wants to fight. Don't cap him. Nah. Nah, 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 then. I am not letting you level up front, because it's going to take forever. Bug tie move against the bug tie. So I'm going to the HP. And there go. And use bubble. So actually, I think it's not very effective against bug types either. No, it is. Cool. I feel like water shouldn't be very effective. Shouldn't be effective in bug types, really, because it's. I mean, bugs just live out in rain, right? They just live out in soil, and they get rained on, and they don't really care. They don't really bother them. Especially a bubble, like maybe if you hit it with a surf or a waterfall or whatever. But I mean, is a bubble? I mean, well, to be fair, is a bubble popping really going to hurt anyone? If I blew a bubble into a Charmander, I feel like it's probably just going to pop, not going to be super effective and make it die, like this game would like you to believe. Alright, let's get back out there with Redeemer. It's not calling you guys by your nicknames because they're yeah, absolutely amazing. By the way, if uh, you're watching this and you would like me to name a Pokemon after you, I'd be well up for that, so you let me know. Also, I'm going to start keeping a list of uh, Pokemon nicknames and requests that people have given me. So if you would like me to continually name a certain Pokemon after you in every uh, Let's Play and those look like I do, Hit me up and uh, where answers first is going to get dibs. You can be Nuzlocke famous, you know, for about 10 people. I mean, I mean, that's a high number. If I get 10 people watching this video, I'll be so impressed. Look at you, about to use Cat P. Yeah, we'll get the diva back out of there. That's my boy. My boy Redeemer. Oh, he leveled up to seven and he didn't learn anything. That's shocking, that is. Nah, he's still not doing any damage, man. Yeah, I'll get rid of this idiot. So, yeah, as soon as I get something better, I'm not training you back anymore. I'm just gonna get it out of there. Train Squirrel or whatever I get. That'll be the end of it. Man, you know what? That cap is no joke. Cap is no joke. It's hitting me pretty hard. I'm just doing string shots. It's probably gonna be faster than me soon. And the bubbles. No, it's faster than me already. One shot. What the fuck is that? Right, so I'm going to go for the speed. The bubble, sorry. Hopefully that's going to knock its speed down. Doesn't. Goes to the tackle. Not going to do much. I'll go for the bubble. Um, one more bubble. And then look. That might be the end of it. Yes! Now, my objective in this episode is to get back to where I lost last time. Um, so, at the minute, I'm looking pretty good for that. Probably only a couple of minutes away. So, I'm going to do that. I I'm going to do that. I'm going to get back to where I lost last time. End the episode there. Uh, I'll take on the battle against the uh, guy that beat me last time. After I've done a little bit of grinding, which I'll do in between episodes, we'll come back uh, and have a good grinding sesh. That is if i get through this Joe dude. Which I'm good in. Thank you very kindly. I shall do counter there. Save his level 10. Then to withdraw. Could be useful. Right. I seem to think there's an item down here. Yeah, which was a repel. Perfect. This is where I found ball pits last time, by the way. When I absolutely lost my shit. And here is the red candy. Oh, and you see now we've that is tempting again. I forgot about that from last time. It's tempting to get that guy out on uh, on Saviour. I mean Redeemer. 
and see if he gets into a level 8. I'll you do it next episode so that I can find out whether he actually does or not. Because if I do that and he doesn't, I'm going to be so disappointed. Right, where do we go? So if we go down here... Right, this hole is where the next trainer is and the one that smashed into a hole. So, I'm going to get through this cave. What did this show you again? And I'm going to just nip back up here and make sure there's no items knocking around. Because I'd quite like to pick everything up that is knocking around. Ah oh, man, come on. Good time to do that. There we go. Zubats again. I'm gonna get bored of Zubats, man. I haven't been bored of Zubats since like 2001. Like, that's another ladder there. I see now. That's a spanner in the works because I didn't know there was another one there. I don't know which one's the right way. No, you little sh. Each life, critical hit, I'm just kind of kind way. I don't know why I went for each life there. I was bottom mashing them, which is the last thing you need to be doing. And then just looking. Uh, so, if you've uh, not played Nuzlocke before, um, the rules are sort of, sort of, you can set them yourself for the most part. I'll leave a link to the Nuzlocke rules in the description though. Oh god, I've run out of least life. So that you can um, have a look at them yourself. Generally, it's uh, just a few simple ones. You do start Pokemon as normal. When you've got Pokeballs, uh, the Nuzlocke starts, and then at that point, uh, if any of your Pokemon faint, they're dead basically. And you can only catch the first Pokemon on each route. That's pretty much it, unless you add your own separate rules. There's things like if you catch, the, if you encounter the same Pokemon twice, it doesn't count, so you can s skip it on that route to get something else. There's a few rules. I'll post it down there, um, and we will. Just make sure there's not in there. Yeah, that's the end of it. Right, okay. I'm going to leave this here. Um, I'm going to grind a little bit, come back for the next episode from this point, and we will have a look down those by those, and have a look down the other ones down there as well. Work out which way we're going. So uh, thank you very much for watching, please subscribe, like, uh, give donate if you want to, I've got a, a Streamlabs and uh, any of that would be appreciated, just help me get out there a little bit more and if you've enjoyed it tell people, that's all there is to say really. So I will see you next time, thanks for watching and I look forward to episode 3, peace.